Welcome to this Medicine Masterclass on Cushing Syndrome. Cushing Syndrome is a clinical state produced by chronic glucocorticoid excess with a loss of the subsequent normal feedback mechanisms on the hypothalamo adenohypophysial adrenal axis. This also results in the loss of the normal circadian rhythm of cortisol secretion. The symptoms are multi-system. Neurologically and psychologically, the patient may develop depression, anxiety, irritability, and loss of emotional control, as well as a loss of libido. Cardiovascular disease can be accelerated with high blood pressure, atherosclerosis. From an orthopedic point of view, the bones can weaken with an increased risk of fractures. The reproductive system is also affected. In females, patients may develop irregular or absent periods. In males, erectile dysfunction may be a complication. Patients are likely to gain weight rapidly, resulting in abdominal striae. There may be delayed healing of cuts or, or skin bruising and thin skin, muscle weakness, a rounded appearance to the face, as well as acne. Cushing syndrome can be caused by an ACTH-dependent pathway or an ACTH-independent pathway. ACTH-dependent pathway, which accounts for Cushing's disease, is where the adenohypophysis or the anterior pituitary is secreting excess levels of ACTH. Moreover, ectopic ACTH production from a tumour may also cause Cushing's disease, or ectopic corticotrophin releasing hormone, which is a rare uh, cause from the hypothalamus, may cause this disease. ACTH independent causes of Cushing syndrome include iatrogenic administration of steroids, an adrenal adenoma, adrenal nodular hyperplasia, or McCune Albright syndrome. Cushing's disease is where an ACTH secreting pituitary adenoma results in bilateral adrenal hyperplasia. Usually this can be a microadenoma and when the patient undergoes a dexamethasone suppression test, at low doses the cortisol secretion is not suppressed, but at higher doses the dexamethasone will suppress the pituitary from producing ACTH. Ectopic ACTH production, either from a small cell cancer or a coisinoid tumour, secrete very high levels of ACTH and consequently, both the low-dose dexamethasone suppression test and the high-dose dexamethasone suppression test will not suppress the cortisol levels. And this helps localise whether the disease is ACTH dependent from the pituitary or an ectopic source. Iatrogenic um, administration of, of steroids is the commonest cause of ACTH independent Cushing syndrome. Adrenal cancers, adenomas and nodular hyperplasia also can lead to the secretion of glucocorticoids autonomously. In the context of a cancer, low-dose dexamethasone suppression and high-dose dexamethasone suppression test will not suppress cortisol levels. <clears throat> the low-dose dexamethasone suppression test is an outpatient test. The patient is given one milligram of dexamethasone to take at midnight and in the morning at 8 a.m. the serum cortisol is measured. If the patient does not have Cushing's, the 8 a.m. cortisol will be suppressed due to the exogenous steroid. In Cushing syndrome, the cortisol level remains elevated, and if so, the patient proceeds to a high-dose dexamethasone suppression test. The high-dose dexamethasone suppression test takes place over 48 hours. Dexamethasone is administered orally regularly for a period of 48 hours, and cortisol is measured intermittently. If the levels are suppressed with high-dose dexamethasone suppression, then this would localise the disease to the pituitary and the patient is diagnosed with Cushing's disease. In order to manage Cushing's, first of all, determine the cause. If this is iatrogenic, try to stop the steroid therapy by weaning patients off slowly. If the patient has Cushing's as a result of a tumour, they may require uh, removal, surgical removal. If this is a pituitary adenoma, they may require a transphenoidal surgery and or radiotherapy. If the adrenals are a source, the patient would undergo an adrenalectomy. If the patient has an ectopic ATTH source, the tumour should be localised and removed. If not amenable, drugs such as metyrapone, ketoconazole, etomidate, 
or mitotain can be used, or mifeprestone, which competes with cortisol at cortisol receptors. Thank you for attending this Medicine Masterclass.